So guys, today's video is actually going to be some stream highlights from last week's stream where I opened up four mini boxes from Walmart of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack 1 reprints. Now, the reason why I had to make this into a full-on video is because these pulls from these boxes are insane. We had some amazing reprints and some amazing foil cards, and I just had to share it with everybody who would like to watch the video. So I hope you guys enjoy, but check out these awesome hits. You guys might have seen the post on Twitter. I'm going to be opening up some Retro Pack. These are at Walmart. Nostalgia bait. Uh, the minute I seen that these were coming out, I'm like, oh shit, we got to open them up. And apparently the pull rates on these are kind of insane. Like people were getting a lot of hits from these packs. So I figured, you know what, why not dig in out and open up some Yu-Gi-Oh. I think we can start off with this beautiful bad boy right here and see what we can get. Ooh, this is so cool. I really like that Konami is doing this. So much nostalgia. Four booster packs of Retro Pack. Look at that. Any Yu-Gi-Oh fans in chat? Anybody fans of old school Yu-Gi-Oh? Classic Yu-Gi-Oh? Because uh, this is going to be really fun. I think you can go four to the front with these. Hopefully I don't spoil anything. And hopefully we get one of these beautiful secret rares. Because we got Black Pendant. Cannon Soldier. That is a nostalgia. Maha Vilo. Luminous Spark. That's really cool. So much nostalgia. I just wish these were old packs because they would have that smell where you could just put them up to your nose and smell the old school pack. But still cool. Like, look, Tune Summon Skull. That's really cool. Black Illusion Ritual. Come on. Let's get a first pack magic. Oh, Card Destruction as a rare. That's pretty cool. I'm really just hoping that we get something cool, something nostalgic. Seven Tools of the Bandit's really nice. This is very nostalgic. That is really nice. Black Pendant again, so I dupe. Elegant Egotist for those Harpy Lady fans. Ooh, there's a classic. Old Grumpy Dragon himself, Thousand Dragon. That's nice. Mystical Space Typhoon. Let's see, come on. Oh, hey, another tune. Tune Summon Skull again. Hey, we got a foil. We got the penguin. Penguin soldier. This guy's adorable. Look how adorable he is. So cute. All right, pack number three. Let's see if we can get... I got four mini boxes. That's all that was available on the shelf. I'm really hoping that I can get at least one secret rare out of these 16 packs. But if I can get an ultra rare too, that would be nice. Oh, there we go. We got the Furry King. Gazelle, the King of Mystical Beasts. Very nice. Black Pendant, once again. Three packs in a row have had this card. Mask of Darkness. Ooh, Arm Ninja. I've always liked this guy. I've always thought he was cool. Not very good for a card, but cool look. Gaia Power. Yumi Ruka. Shining Angel. Rising Air Current. And... Wall of Illusion. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not necessarily a card that you want to pull too much. This card was doomed from the get-go because I think it started out as a uh, starter deck card. So it was already readily available. Still cool though to see a rare version of this. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at this card. But like the detail in the artwork is insane. And it's always like disturbing to just look at up close. Like try to get to it without like. It getting too blurry, but like, look at it. It also feels good to be able to do some personal rips finally. Because this is just all personal. I'm, I'm having a little bit of fun today. The old artwork is so nice, right? Like Flame Swordsman, he's just so cool. Kind of wish he was hollow though, because I love Flame Swordsman as a hollow. Like an old school hollow. Looks really cool. Polymerization. Thousand Dragon once again. Jirai Gumo. Another one that if you actually look at him closer, kind of creepy. It's just a giant spider, but a creepy spider. UFO Turtle. Looks like an old man. Upstart Goblin. That's a good card. Mystical Space Typhoon. Send you of a thousand hands. And let's see if we can get some last pack magic in this first box, guys. Just the Flute of Summoning Dragon. That is disappointing. With that being said, let's go ahead and go into Retro Pack number two. Let's see if we can get something groovy in this second Retro Pack. 
All right. Let's see if we can get something beautiful. Box two is going to have the heat. Trust. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm believing the vibe. I'm believing it. I know it is, right? Box two is going to have the heat. All right. Let's put these packs up here. And let's see if box two has the heat. Let's go pack number one in box two. So there is something I seen that somebody pulled. They pulled a no name secret rare cyber harpy lady. I would love to pull something similar. I think we got a foil because look how bad that card at the back curves. If that's not a foil, I'm going to be surprised. It's also slightly wider than all the other cards I have in my hand right now. So if I don't have a foil at the back, I'm going to be highly disappointed. Holy shit! I did get a misprint! I called it! Oh my goodness! Look at that hit! Oh my goodness! Let's go, baby! Oh my goodness! That is so cool! I wonder if we can keep up the luck. Because that was freaking awesome. Oh, man. Oh, Thunder Dragon. That's cool. Nice little switch up. Something a little bit different. Oh, there's Harpy Lady. She's nice. Unfortunately, she's the censored version. The Harpy Lady's, like, OG art. She does not have that purple top. It's just a little, like, bikini part. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. One of the worst fusion monsters to ever exist, in my opinion. Hey, Dark Slayer, you just missed a heater, my friend. I'm gonna show. Oh, Tomb World. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have to show you what we just pulled. Oh, another Upstar Goblin. Always a good card to have. Holy shit! Another misprint and another secret rare back to back. Leslie, you freaking called it. You freaking called it that this box was a heater. You called it that the box was a heater. Look at that. Holy. All right. Let's see if we can go three for three with this box. At this point, I'm not thinking so. Like, I feel like this box has have to, it has to be burnt out with luck, right? Like, there's no way that Konami would stack us up with another one. Send you of a thousand hands. Giant germ. Luminous spark and then just the right leg of Exodia. Yeah, I was like I was like at this point if Konami gave us a third big hitter um, That would be a little bit too much uh, Konami had to chill us out a little bit But uh, let's throw some LPMs for this box up in the chat. Let's get some last pack magic. Let's get one more hit Let's see if we can get something groovy in this last pack So, Giant Soldier of Stone. Ooh, a Trap Hole. That's a, that's a classic. And Magic Jammer. Hey, hey. So, three, four back-to-back -back classics we have yet to see. Another Toon World. Hey, Toon Mermaid. So, more tunes. And a Sangan Hollow. That box was a banger. Two Secret Rares, both with misprints. And a Sangan. Wow. Talk about some insanity. I think that was the sleeve. Yeah, that sleeve is the one that has the, uh... Look at that. That is really cool. I'm gonna... Yeah, they use the old text. It's not the errata text. That is really cool. This actually might have some value for, like, your old school players. Konami. Konami, what are you doing? Let's see. Retro pack again. Let's go. Let's see if I can get another one. Now, let's get some of the ultra rares. There's some beautiful ultra rare classic cards in here. Let's get some of those. That would be nice. Yeah, I, th I think we hit the high point of the stream, guys. Like, there's just no way we beat this tonight. Unless we hit a manga out of one piece. Uh, like, three special illustration rares and one ATB for Pokemon. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for the support and love. Thousand Dragon. Yumi Ruka, Shining Angel, Rising Air Current, UFO Turtle. Oh shit, there we go, another heater. Gay Guardian Ultra Rare. Wow. Heater after heater after heater. 
This box is freaking insane. This product is insane. Pack number two in the second box, or third box. Can we get another banger? Let's see. Let's get a Dank Magician. Baby Dragon. Ooh, he's a cutie. Cutie patootie. Oh, look. Three, four back-to-back -back dragons. Maybe. Just maybe. We're going to see Blue Eyes? Let's see. Nope, just Sangha. The th hey, you know what, though? That fits our Gate Guardian. We kind of need us. We need a Sangha if we want to build Gate Guardian. Jesus. This product is insane. Konami, give me some more fire. Every box has been a heater so far, but I'm going to be greedy. We got six packs of Retro Pack left. Let's get one more big hitter. La Jin, Genie of the Lamp. There we go. That's a cool super rare to get. Honestly, I would prefer if it was the other artwork. Because I don't think there's a foil version of the artwork. I might be wrong. But it's a cool card. And I really like La Jin. Um, really classic card. He's a fiend. I gotta show you, my friend. I gotta show you the heat that I just pulled. But let me finish up this pack for box number three. Just a heavy storm. So their trading card section gets actually pretty uh, pretty stocked. And it doesn't sell out very quickly unless it's something heavily scalpable. And I don't think this is very scalpable. Now, obviously, if you pull something like a, like a strong misprint, like maybe the name missing, you could probably get a card that's worth a bit of money. But outside of that, like most people are not going to pay $30, $40 for this box when they're readily available at Walmart. So you could probably find these pretty easily at your local Walmart if you're interested. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go, baby. Exodia, the Forbidden One. That is beautiful. We're just hitting card after card, banger after banger. Three packs left. Let's throw some positive emotes in the chat, guys. Anybody who's lurking in chat right now, throw some love up. Let's uh, let's bring some good positivity to these last few packs. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast. Trap Hole. Toon World. Flying Kamakiri, number one. I think that's the first time we've seen this guy. I've always liked this guy when, like, old school Windex. Oh, shit! Another Secret Rare. Embodiment of Apophis. With the name shift again. Wow. I think I 100% made my money back with these uh, name shifts. Really, really nice. I don't know what happened in the factory, but somebody messed up. Let's see if I can get back-to-back -back Secret Rares again. Because those first two Secret Rares were back-to-back. -back. I feel like uh, there's something back here. Because it's like curled a little bit. It's hard to tell from this angle. But let's see. Yep. The Summon Skull Super Rare. Oh, that's stunning. That is really cool. Let's go ahead and put beautiful summon skull in a sleeve. Last pack. All right, guys. Let's throw some LPMs in chat. Let's use that last pack magic emote. I think we might potentially have gone four for four. The pack is a little curved in the middle. Like there is a foil sitting there. We're only going to hope that there is one more foil. Maybe a dark magician. Or maybe one of those beautiful secret rares. Let's see. Uh, it's just a mega morph. We couldn't go four for four, unfortunately. But my goodness, guys, these products are insane. So that is it for all the Yu-Gi-Oh! I was able to find. I only found four mini boxes. But my goodness, were they some of the luckiest mini boxes I've bought? Three Seeker Rares, two Ultra Rares, but two really good Ultra Rares, and some really strong Super Rares.